right, so uh, here we are in Overture. Um, first things first, what we do is go to Manage Sponsored Search. Go to Add Listings. Um, Yahoo is a little different because it's not as complex as Google. It's pretty straightforward. What you see and what you bid is what you get. Um, so for this one, we're going to create a new category called Tattoo Design. And Overture is really great for long tail keywords because there's not much competition in them. Mm -hmm. But uh, the short tail keywords are pretty competitive, so watch out for that. Exactly. And so, okay, we created our tat um, category. Now, there's no campaign ad group keyword structure in Overture. It's only category and keyword. So just be aware of that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the same keywords into here. Okay, so I'm just going to paste these keywords right into here. Okay. Another big difference between Google and Yahoo and MSN is that with Google, your ads are displayed immediately. So once you create a campaign and uh, you got your your ad and everything set, you're, you're pretty much up and running within minutes. With Yahoo and MSN, there's an editorial process that you have to go through, which may take up to a day or two before your ads actually show up. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, not to knock Yahoo, but it's a little slow. It is. And as you can see right here, there you go. All right, so ad listings. Now what you want to do is enter your title, enter your description, and enter your URL. And we'll be back in one second after we fill this out. And we're back, and we just all we did was copy and paste some of this stuff um, into Yahoo. And another thing to keep track of is Yahoo, you cannot have a different display URL than your actual URL. So you have to put this in, and it will display probably this much uh, of your um, URL. Now, what Larry and I usually do to avoid this on Yahoo is create a custom landing page whether we're domain forwarding so where we just simply buy a domain and we forward it using this tracking ID mm -hmm. and we you know we lose the whole process of losing tracking ID and we just know that it's a domain forwarder mm -hmm. or just create your own landing page which you can actually opt people in or you can do anything just create a custom landing page and uh, drive them to the next page in general it's a good rule of thumb to create your own landing page get your own domain uh, with with Google, you're limited to uh, one domain per listing. So, if someone's uh, bidding on buy my tattoo, uh, then buy my tattoo.com rather, then you can't also have that display URL in the listing. So you need you need your own to to bid and position yourself within Google. And in general, it's good to have your own landing page because you have full control over the sales process. So you could opt people in, you can educate them, you could do a pre-sell and then basically drive them to uh, to the sales page directly. Exactly. Um, but if you do want to keep track of every single tracking ID like we did with Google, then what we do here is we copy the title down to all the keywords. We copy the description down to all the keywords. Copy the URL down to all the keywords. And here we go. Change all the tracking IDs one at a time. Again, you know, I just want to mention that in the next video, we're, all, we're you know, the last video, we are going to show you how you can automate all this, because um, this is a very tedious process, but for now, we just want to have some fun and uh, keep you guys guessing. So, if you had a landing page, you would be sending traffic to a different landing page for each of these ads. Exactly. And you don't have to do this this way. Um, Yahoo does have an option where you can do a single title and description for all keywords. Um, if you click continue the way we're doing now, it's going to actually pull up the next set of, you know, eight, nine keywords or whatever it is. And you're going to have to go and you're going to have to do, you know, you're going to have to do it autofill from previous. Oh. That's a pretty annoying process. Yeah, looks like I'm getting an error on this page. Um, that seems to be a Yahoo problem. Uh, the, but new, the new overture uh, that that uh, just came out is a little bit easier. It's a lot quicker. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it looks like we got an error on the page. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to... Um, we can skip over this whole step. 
And, you know, that's pretty much it for Yahoo. Um, the thing about Yahoo is you have to wait between, depending on the level of your account, if you're spending a lot of money with Yahoo, you get faster results. If you're not spending that much, you have to wait in the editorial status. And, you know, it could take up to seven days. I've seen some terms, um, you know, happen. I've, I've heard from some people up to six to seven days. Um, so that's how you set up right. your listings in um, Overture. And obviously, again, all you want to do is set your bids to, you know, whatever you want. It could be 17 cents like you did with um, Yahoo. But again, you want to go back. And this is the good thing about Overture is you can see what your competition is bidding. Right. So you could so pretty much, you, you, you determine what position you want to be in. Exactly. So we can see right here, as we said before, Tattoo Designs was 22 cents and the other one was 10 cents. So you know what? We can position position ourselves for that term at 21 cents, or we can just simply put in 17 and leave it at that and have him pay 17, uh, sorry, 18 cents per click, just so that we're standard across the board at 17 cents. Um, and we'll go back here. Yeah, so I mean that's overture in a nutshell, and you know, um, again, it's a pretty straightforward process. What you bid is what you get, and I think I believe starting in. February or March, they're coming into their new system um, as far as a, a full release. I think they're phasing it out to certain individuals um, at a time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know. It's a much more streamlined system and it's a lot faster. I exactly. Mean, I'm, fairly, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'll be doing a tutorial on the new Overture so you guys get a sneak peek at the, the usage of the new Overture and see it in action. I'll be, exactly. I'll be doing that shortly. Okay. So, so let's jump over to Microsoft now.